Now it's just two exploits. You know, so... Back back when I pulled my dupe Gurgo, it was 10x Chris. Come on. You know, you know how it's hard, how heartbreaking it is to pull a dupe Void Legendary? Doom Screech, what an amazing champion. I love this guy. You need a two hand? Two, two hand, two hunter rock. That's who you mean, right? You got three Cardiels. You got three Cardiels? Well, there's worse champions. There's, you know, you could have three Gurgos. Painsmith, what's up, Painsmith? These fucking dwarves all look angry. You know? CJ's got a plus three, Gurgo. CJ's got a fucking massive account, though. You got a massive account, CJ. Don't you have a Crisk, CJ? Or multiple Crisks? Alright, we just pulled five rares. Hey, Painkeeper, what's up? I used you. I had like seven of these Painkeepers from the last time you pulled shards here. CJ, you got a two. You got two Crisks. There you go. I get that. All right. Well, we're hoping for. I'm hoping for just one. That's all I'm hoping for. Here we go. I can't look. Come on. There it is. There it is. What the fuck is that? Are you kidding me with that? What the fuck is that? You can pull these guys from shards? Are you kidding me right now? You guys are going off. Does, has, has, I've ne I haven't seen this guy's kit. I haven't seen this guy's kit. Has it, Have any of you guys seen this guy's kit? Well... Regular Gaelic is awful. Ultimate Gaelic is mediocre at best. How good can Supreme Gaelic be? Let's go look at him fully ascended here. Let's go look at his fully ascended. We pulled other trash. Several CCs have him as the best Supreme. Ooh. Okay. All right. So there's regular Gaelic. He's terrible. There's Ultimate Gaelic, who's only good if you don't have any other HP burns. Let's see what we got here. 1,500 attack. Okay. 100 speed. Okay. This is all pretty standard stuff here. We got ally attack in all battles, 33%. That's good. Whenever he receives a crowd control debuff, he instantly removes it, then fully heals himself and grants him a turn. Ooh. It's on a fur turn cooldown, but he gets a turn. What's he going to do with that turn? AOE. What does it mean? What does it mean? Right. What does it mean? Let's see it. Ah! Extra 10% chance of inflicting a crit. Okay. Whatever. 75 or 100 plant chance. 100% chance of placing a burn and block buffs for two turns. Also, decrease speed on targets whose turn meter is higher than 50%. <laughs> Hello, Hydra. How are you? I'm Ultimate Gaelic. I have three of the best debuffs for you. Thank you. Holy moly, this guy just... Whoa. Yeah, their, their turn meter is always going to be above 50%. So, yeah. You typed it as I... Hey, look at that. We're thinking alike, man. Look at that. Okay, that's just his A3. Holy moly. A2. Attacks four times at random. I don't like that. Increased attack on himself before attacking. Okay. Each hit has an extra 10%. Okay, I'm guessing that every time he's got an extra 10% of inflicting a crit. Each hit also with a 100% chance of instantly activating any HP burn on each target and decreasing the duration of those by one turn. Okay. Fills his turn meter by 30% if three or more burns are activated during the attack. <sighs> hey, have fun, Ellie. Have fun, Ellie. Is he cranky, really? Uh, just give him some give him some ice cream. So, he's placing burns. And then he's blowing up the burns. Two hits. Each hit, extra 10%, of course. Each hit has a 40, make it 60% chance of increasing the duration of any burns on the target by one tick. Oh, mo, 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 mo. Okay. 
He's tired. Hey, that's cool. No worries. No worries. Okay, I'm not upset. This guy is gonna come in very, very handy. I'm sure he'll do a ton of damage in Hydra. Not sure where else though. Maybe Ice Golem Hard? I'm not gonna try Ice Golem Hard. Not gonna try Ice Golem Hard in the slightest. I do not give two Fs about Ice Golem Hard. So there you go. You Hey, and we also learned something that you can pull the new Supreme Champions from shards and I still have 80 voids to go holy mother uh, I'm, I'm good I'm good just, just. Not surprised, of course. Right, right. All right, 80 more. Is this just going to be trash now? This is probably just going to be trash now. Let's do it. Come on. Well, you know what? I'll take the Supreme Gaelic over... Um, like... Vizix, you know? Better than Gurgo? Of course he's better than Gurgo. All right, so Sylar is a fantastic champion. Really good champion. Really good champion. If you guys haven't built a Sylar, you probably have better options. But Sylar's really good. Now pull Chris. I'm trying, man. We're working on it here. Beardall Fellhammer. I don't know anything about this guy. Double Draconis. Look at that. Double Draconis. What's Beardall Fellhammer got going on? Counterattack on himself. Triple hit. Okay, this guy's just... That's the annoying guy. Never mind. <coughs> Double Ash Walker. Look at that. Can we get Triple Ash Walker? Triple Ash Walker. Nope. Nope. Paragon. Root Keeper. Fantastic. Love him. Got him at six star. Double Double Ash Walker. Nubkex was using him as a budget mischief tank. Oh, because he gives himself an extra buff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that, I'm not that worried about Hydra TBH. You know, like just let the damage fall where it may. Is I'm not trying to go crazy, crazy. I mean, I have a good no. of that's cupidus finally got venus love me some venus i am a little upset that it's not crisp but i'm not upset that it's a venus in the slightest aoe defense down and weaken aoe hp burn 100 percent chance 100 percent chance double hit poison removes all buffs from all enemies 50 percent chance of granting an extra turn when cupidus is on the same team you're not gonna run her without cupidus if you have both of them. And an HP in all battles aura. I told myself when I first pulled Dracomorph that I don't need Venus now. Because Dracomorph's got a place on his defense on the weekend. I'm taking my Venus. And we're going to go do some Hydra damage with Venus and Cupidus. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. OG champ too. She's an OG champ. So we pulled a brand new champ and an OG champ. How many shards? How many shards I got? I got 40 left. Wow, dude. Did you imagine? Did you imagine? Did you imagine? Right, so I got Venus to build for CVC. Maybe Ultimate Gaelic. I don't know. Or not Ultimate. Supreme Gaelic. Lua. Lua's not bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? What is happening right now? What is happening right now? Ursuga Warcaller. I mean, I know she's not a Krisk. Krisk is wearing an Ursuga Warcaller fucking 
mask for Halloween here. But goddamn, she's fucking amazing. She's amazing for Arena. Decreases the damage all allies receive from crits. Ally protection and strengthen. Decrease crit damage, decrease attack. Decrease speed, decrease defense. Single target, block active skills. She's really just good for a tank team. Holy moly, use her on your Mortu team. Yeah. That's the perfect team to use her on because you can just, this, she just, like, pair her and, dude, she might come in. Fuck Tormin. Duchess Siffy, Ursuga, and Rotos. Whoosh. Yes, Darth, that is now two couples that I have. I have Siffy, Rotos, and Venus Cupidus. Whoosh. What is going on? What is going on? I mean, I have to keep going, right? I have to keep going. 30 shards left. I'm trying. I'm trying. I pulled three. I can't get the fat fucking turtle. Pop out, you fat fucking turtle. Let's go. <laughs> I just keep pulling Ash Walkers. Suai Firstborn. Felhound might as well be a legendary champion. He's so good. All three of them brand new. Yep, all three of them brand new too. Yep. Arkin Great Blade. Got a cool, cool name. I like the two A's. Alright, last temple. Last temple. I mean I'm not I'm not disappointed in the slightest. Not crisp, but I'm not disappointed in the slightest. Oh, another Ashwalker, dude. How many Ashwalkers are we gonna hurry? Let's do the Harrier thing. Andresia. She's okay. Ripper Fist. Dagger. Double Dagger. Another Jembo. And a Light Storm. Alright. I mean, hey. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, I'm pretty sure that we got enough Fragments. Enough points for the Fragments. Let's take a look. So, Sacred Order and Barbs. You can see they were brand new. We already looked at Ulti uh, Supreme Gale. Like, he's obviously brand new. So, Sacred Order Venus is brand new. Yep. So now, what I can do is I can finally take Deacon out of the Faction Wars team here. Probably take out Deacon. And... Whoever else I was using for help. I'll use like Cernic, Venus, Bivald, Cupidus, and Corvus maybe or something. Big start. I appreciate you, man. Have a good one. Have a good one, man. I appreciate you sticking around. Thanks, brother. Yeah, dude. Look at this. She's so good everywhere. 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 Boom. <clears throat> so good. Definitely gonna build me. Definitely gonna build the Venus. And Ursuga. Ursuga's probably gonna be the one casualty here. I probably won't build Ursuga right away. 